Hello Wildlanders, I am SK, and today we are going to cover how to properly download the Wildlander mod pack. We will talk through how to update from an older version to the newest version. We will also provide solutions for a couple common issues and a small trick on how to save room on your hard drive. I wanted to give a shout out to Lizzie and the dev team. Several pieces of information in this video was a result of their documentation. Now, a quick heads up that the GOG version of Skyrim is not compatible with Wildlander. Assuming that you purchased the Steam version of Skyrim, you will be able to download the Wildlander mod pack. The first step to getting the mod pack downloaded is to select Skyrim from Steam and hit play. You'll hit OK for any boxes that pop up. You can then exit out of the Skyrim launcher. Next, you will want to have some way to unzip a folder. If you don't already, the easiest option would be 7-zip, which is linked in the description. Once you have a software to unzip folders, you can click on the link in the description called Wildlander Folder. From there, you would drag the folder to wherever you want it stored. Now, there are a couple places shown on screen that cannot hold this folder. Now, let's run the Wildlander installer.exe and click the Browse Mod List option. In my experience, the search bar is already displaying the word Wildlander. In the event you aren't seeing it, just manually type it in and click download. The install location will go under game files in that folder we downloaded. The download location should fill automatically after you choose the install location. If you are not a Nexus Premium member, you will have to manually download each mod. I am a Premium member, so I hit the download button and wait for it to process. Now that it finished downloading, I can either click Install Folder or go back to where I stored the Wildlander folder. Here we click Wildlander Launcher Setup. From this screen, we select our Game Files folder. Once you choose your configuration, you hit Launch Game. Now you are all set up to play Wildlander. Congratulations! If you aren't playing on the newest version or a new version comes out and you are trying to update, this is how you will do it correctly. First, to ensure a clean download, you would delete the mod folder that's located inside the game files folder. If your current version is 1.0, you will need to delete step 2 wildlander.wabajack. Since I am not using this version 1.0, I don't have this folder, however it will be in the same place as the game files folder if this step applies to you. The rest of the steps apply to everyone whether or not you are playing on version 1.0. Similarly to the initial download, you would open Wabajack Installer, and under Browse Mod Lists, you will navigate to Wildlander. We will hit the download icon and choose the same folders from the original download. A critical step is make sure we select the Overwrite Installation option, and then we can hit the Play button. Once it finishes, you are ready to play. One of the most common issues people run into is their installation saying that it's downloading, but not actually making any progress. The concern is that if they exit and start again, it will start over. The good news is, if your download is frozen for 10 or more minutes, you can safely exit the program, follow the previous steps to open it back up and select the relevant folders as your installation location. You can then hit play again and it will continue where it left off without making you start it all over. If this does not resolve the issue, the recommendation is to try again but using a VPN. In the case that this does not work still, try downloading the specific mod that isn't downloading from the nexusmods.com and add the zipped folder to your download folder for Wildlander. The next issue I ran into quite a bit, which is primarily user error, which is not selecting the correct folder and thus being unable to start the download. The solution to this problem is to change the install location to game files which will resolve the hiccup. The final problem happens when you play two characters using the same instance of Wildlander. What happens is your HUD no longer works properly, certain hotkeys don't work, and you will often receive an error message saying please restart the economy. Skyrim does not handle playing two separate characters in the same instance, so you will need to close Wildlander and then load the launcher again before switching between characters. If you are low on space and the 135GB Wildlander uses leaves you pretty close to full, I have a quick tip to give you some space back. Once you have downloaded the mod pack, you can move back to the Wildlander folder and delete the downloads folder. 
This will give you back 45 gigabytes of space to work with. A word of caution, when you update to a new version, you will have to download these again using Wabajack. I do hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, I recommend reaching out to the Discord linked in the description. If you enjoyed, consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. Stay safe, Wadlanders.